I think from the very beginning, Liquid Instruments has always been focused on the users. This is partly because we are users ourselves. We built something that we would love, that we would want to use, and then maybe there's lots of people like us who will also want to use it. And that's really what started the company. I actually think there's a lot of smart people around the world, and what they do can actually improve our technology and make the world a better place, and I just want to be able to enable that. We thought if we tried to not only combine the functionality of multiple instruments, but also improve the user experience, that might be something that would be really powerful and beneficial to a lot of people. As soon as I heard about this new technology, I, I immediately thought, you know, this is the future of, of test and measurement, and I wanted to be part of it. Working on something that modernized the way we operate in the lab was something that really excited me. When I think about the start of the company, I think about all of us crammed into this really small, sweaty office. You know, we had really big plans and ideas then, and that part hasn't changed. I was 60 when I started my PhD, which is absurdly old to do something like that, and a great privilege. But it, it's like a second or third career. It was something brand new that I could get involved with. And it's, I, I think I'm very lucky to have stumbled into this and been able to play a part in it. It's being at the forefront, the crest of a wave, and seeing this transition. And I think people will look back at this period as when the whole game changed. So what our products hope to provide is a common hardware platform that can be used in many different ways, allowing users to build their own bespoke experiments, potentially in ways that we haven't thought of yet. In the past, when you bought a piece of equipment, it could already do everything that it was ever going to be able to do. And that's no longer true with the products that we're making now. You know, what we've stumbled upon is the computer of test and measurement. And our technology just enables them to focus on the things that they're really good at and not worry about the things that are already done. As a scientist, I wanted to create something that would not only be used for cutting edge research, but also help train the next generation of scientists and engineers who will push the boundaries even further. I think there's a, there's a lot of spaces for us to grow in and I think once they discover what we have to offer, uh, they will love it. Don't be afraid to do something that everybody thinks is crazy or stupid or impossible because a lot of crazy, stupid, impossible things have come off and they only come off if there's people there who believe in them and push them and devote their careers to it. I think in 10 years time, Mokus and devices like Mokus will be the only real option for any sort of scientific instrumentation and will have been the guys that were the catalyst for that change.